What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the Snowcast Sports Talk Podcast, episode 86. Let's jump into the standings Whoop. after week seven, and then we will go into the media session. So in first place with five games right last week, Matthew still in first, John still in second after... Getting one more game right than Matt. Glad to say that was the Giants game John and I attended. <laughs> in third, moving from fourth to fifth, Charlie, or third to fourth, getting eight games right, which, by the way, was the most this week. Charlie got two, two solo picks, which is pretty crazy, actually. Um, in fourth is myself. I had a horrible week. Um, and my my switch was bad, too. Sometimes switches scare me. And then in last, but only one game between me and Ben and one game between me and Charlie, Ben, Ben got one of his two solo picks right. And Ben also got seven games right, which was second best for the week. So with that, going to go switch back to this. Up first in the media session for week seven is Matthew. And like usual, I will ask my, I will ask my question. The win over Buffalo for the Patriots, was that more the Patriots winning the game or more Buffalo throwing losing the game? Not throwing, losing. I I think there is a fair argument for both. Um, but the one thing I can say is Mac Jones did not turn over the ball once, and he didn't do anything in that game to help us lose that game. He did everything in that game to help us win that game. And I think that played a huge part in it. We've seen a lot of mistakes with him under pressure. And that offensive line showed up. So I do think the Patriots looked better than they have. Like, if this is the Mac Jones that we see for the rest of the season, I don't, I'm don't. i not going to want to get rid of him at the end of the season. I'm going to say, all right, let's build around him. He's a game manager. If we have a good offensive line, we have good weapons, and we're well coached, Mac Jones can be a good game manager. Let's go for it. But if we see, keep seeing those mistakes, um, let's get into quarterback. But the Bills have some serious problems being at 4-3 and three right now. Um, and I still am in shock we lost that game. I was talking to you about that this morning. I was like, I can't believe I was literally no, sad. No, you can't you can't believe you won that game. I can't believe we won that game. Did I say lose? Yeah, that's how that's how so, in much yeah, shock. That's you how were. like I'm still in shock we won. Like I woke up Monday, I was like, ah, Patriots. Wait, we won. <laughs> I couldn't shake it. I was like, I can't believe we just did that, which was awesome. I was hype as hell, but um I think the Patriots played their asses off personally. I like it. Man, uh, yeah, I got I a think... question for you. Charlie. Charlie, you're gonna have to pick Matt. Oh, Charlie, I like to. I like to. All right, Matt. Rats. This is kind of a question. This is kind of a question for the whole league, but you're the first person up, so you're gonna have to answer. Um, this is the second time that I picked the Atlanta Falcons as a solo pick, and the second time that they've won for me. What is your issue with the Atlanta Falcons, and are you gonna start picking them in the future? Um, yeah, this is a team I will probably start saying in certain games in the future. I, you know what, my, honestly, it was personal. I picked them, I want to say maybe week three. I might be wrong about that. I forget who they were playing, but they didn't even hand Bijan the ball once. I remember watching the highlights of that game, and I was just like, what are we even doing here? Like, Arthur Smith, like, in that mustache, like, what's going on here? Right guys? here, week four, Matt got burned. Falcons. Oh, <laughs> who were they playing? They were playing the Jaguars. Jaguars. I, I thought if you just ran game, <laughs> there it is. I was like, they're just going to run. And, and that's not that actually really a good did. reason. <laughs> yeah. Um, Fair. But honestly, the second this team puts in Taylor Heineke, I'll start saying their name. Oh, second. Here, here. Snaps. I don't know. Desmond Ritter's turning the heat up. All right, John, what's your question for Matt? <laughs> uh, yeah, so... Uh, I think a lot of Patriots fans, including myself, noticed that in week one, Kendrick Bourne had a field day on the Eagles offense. And then for the following six weeks, proceeded to get less than 10 touches, 10, 10 targets, I believe. Maybe maybe one he did. But in week seven, he then became the, w, the wide receiver one again, and they beat the Bills. In your mind, do you think Kendrick Bourne or Devontae Parker should be at the top of that receiving list? All right, is is the question, do I think Devontae Parker should be the wide receiver one or Kendrick Bourne yes. should be the yes. receiver one? Yes. Um, also, did you just call yourself a Patriots fan? I've heard so much smack talk from you. I don't want that. One week they win and you're like a Patriots fan myself. Uh, oh, okay, let me correct. I'm, I'm not a Patriots fan. You're right. Let me correct. Yeah, I'm a Kendrick Bourne fan. And uh, right, the people, right. two of the people in the podcast can attest, after the game against the Eagles, I got Kendrick Bourne on my fantasy team thinking, holy crap, they have an actual wide receiver. To which case, for six back-to-back -back weeks, they proceeded to not throw him the ball. 
and then they did again, and he won, and he had 20-some points last week, yeah. as in week one. So the correction is Kendrick Bourne fan. Yes, yes, I like that. Sorry, I'm just Like, I couldn't believe they stopped throwing but, the ball to him. Whose idea was uh, that, do you Kendrick, think? Kendrick Bourne is the number one, without a doubt. He is the player on fantasy. Him and Hunter Henry are the two guys to pick up if you're trying to get any points out of the Patriots in fantasy in terms of... Not uh, Devontae Parker? No, not Devontae Parker. Okay. Um, I, I don't really know about Devontae Parker. I can honestly see us trading him before the season's over. I think Bill Belichick and O'Brien love him. I I personally don't think so. I want Juju to get the hell out of that building, though. Personally. <laughs> Mr. Irrelevant. All right, Ben. Yeah, right? Close us up here. Okay, Matt. Um, you get five points in a week. You can't say you know a lot about football. Um, but I will ask this one thing. Are you more are you more proud about getting the Eagles game right or are you more upset that the Lions the Lions lost? Um, you know, coming from from dead last, it's just you know, it, it really really makes me lose some sleep sometimes. But um um <laughs> I would say the Lions loss, honestly, Crazy. because that that shocked me, although I am a huge Lamar Jackson fan, and I'm a huge Ravens fan, so I'm kind of hyped that happens. And this is a team, like, actually, I had someone at work the other day look at me like, what's your dream Super Bowl right now? You know what I said? I was, I'd love to see Lions-Ravens. I know that was the game coming up, but I was like, that should be a great Super Bowl. And then... I don't know if it would. We saw the score that yeah, game. That game would kind of suck. Anymore. Yeah, I don't know if it would anymore, but yeah, no. Um, I love the Ravens, so I was kind of hyped they got the win, although I wish the Lions won, so I got but wait, did we all say Lions? You said Ravens, right? Yeah, Ben got... Oh, of course. That's a, that's a such a good solo pick. We I, all yeah, told I... him it was, too. Yeah, that's such a good solo pick, yeah. All right, let's keep it moving here. In yeah, second that, place, that took a while Johnny. Anyone have any questions for John? Yeah, yeah, I kind of want right. to start this up. Oh. Charlie had the hands. Charlie, Charlie had the hands. Did have the hands. I, Charlie I had the hands. I appreciate my hands. Me too. Oh, okay. Charlie, you can lead it off here. John, I, I know the Lions have a special place in your heart with Auntie Monty. Um, do you think his absence last week impacted the game significantly, or do you think that even Seriously. if he was playing, they would have gotten railed? It's so hard. So hard. I think it's somewhere in the middle. I think the Ravens expose the fact that if you can stop Hutchin Hutchinson, you can actually get to the quarterback. Stealing oh, my sorry. take. You, you're, Stealing yeah, my yeah. take. This is Billy's take. If you can stop Hutchinson as a quarterback, you have more time. Um, so all those wide receivers on the Ravens who were playing bad ought to play great because that O-line stopped Hutchinson. I think that was the number one factor that they won. That being said, I do think that Monty's presence would have improved the score of that game and it'll be interesting to see what happens this week without him again and then what happened then they go to a bye and then he'll be back and if they pull another loss next week like equally as bad and then after the bye they actually win again i think there is maybe a question mark of like okay what sort of presence does monty actually bring to this team other than just a good running back because a little weird how bad they lost and a little weird it's his first full game missed so Matthew? So somewhere in the middle. Um, I have a I have a kind of a fun question for you, John. What do you think of the Packers? Mm. I think the Packers are young. I think the Packers are a young team. I think they're um a lot of talent. I think they have a lot of talent. But um they all had too much fun on the bye week. And the Broncos are begging, begging for their players to look good so they can get better trade value when the trade week's coming up here. So they played their <laughs> minds off, not for their own record, not for the team, but for themselves individually. So they all played better because of it. Um, but I think the Packers on a scale of one to 10, right now are like a 6.5. Ben? Maybe a 5.5, somewhere in there. John. <laughs> What can I say? <laughs> what, can, what can I say? You're not in first anymore. You're landsliding. Um, Charlie and I teamed up last week. We're catching up with you, Billy. Billy's kind of wish wash this season. Um, but you were at the game this weekend. Mm. Okay. Big Giants. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> we spoke highly of them early in the season. Got me amped up. Did a good job mm -hmm. last week. Got me them points. How was it watching the Giants? Uh, it was fun. fun. Yeah, it was a blast. When you're at the game, it doesn't look like as much a shit show when the score is only 14-7. It's almost just more exciting that it's 14-7. And the defense of your own team is as exciting as the offense, unlike mm -hmm. on TV, where that's when you get up to get to the bathroom wings or snacks. Yeah, yeah. yeah wings. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, it was awesome. And it made the Giants look better then they appear on TV. Oh, nice. Final... Tyrod's in. Tyrod's in. John. Uh, yeah. <laughs> John, who you taking, Jets or Giants this week? Ooh. Is that mm. You say mm. that. We're I'll... just going to have to, we're going to have to wait and see what happens. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to I, wait and I see. Think, uh, I think the room, you four are going to dictate, you know, maybe my sway on it. I think it's going to be a closer game than any of us want to admit, no matter which way it swings. All right, and with that, jump into third place now with Charlie. Move from third to fourth. So Charlie's moving up. Charlie, what made you pick the Falcons and what made you pick the Steelers? I need some sort of breakdown here. Two solo picks. And by the Absolutely. way, these weren't solo picks like where Ben picked the Ravens, and I'm like, shit, that's a 50-50 coin flip. Like, I really didn't think the Steelers would beat the Rams. In my wildest mm -hmm. dreams, I didn't see that coming. What made you pick that? Yeah. Yeah, so first with the Falcons, um, I've kind of been vouching for the Falcons all year. I think there's been a lot of times I pick the Falcons. I'm like, I love Bijan. I got, I, I like, I like um, Drake London. They have some good offensive weapons. I think Kyle Pitts, right? Is Kyle Pitts still in the yeah, Falcons? Yeah, he made that yep. catch yep. last yeah. week. He had that insane yeah. back so end catch. They still have, they still, have, they have awesome offensive talent. I think the question mark has always been the quarterback, and I think Ritter's having himself a decent season. Um, and I'm also very low on the Bucks. I've, I've never been a fan of Baker Mayfield, and he had a couple of good games to start off the year, but he's falling back into the Baker Mayfield ways um, as the season goes on. So this pick was half. I like the Falcons, half I don't didn't like the Bucks. Do you not like um, the Rams? And then no, with the piss that with the Steelers, I think they sort of have a, a anemic offense. They don't really put up a lot of points. They're not looking that great. I don't think that that quarterback's the answer. But the Pittsburgh Steelers always have such a great defense. I mean, their defense wins them games time and time again. It happens year after year. They're, I feel like for the last few years, they've been like a very average team, but they're always somehow above 500, right? They're always finding ways to win, and it's a lot of it has to do with their defense. Um, and I just felt like the Steelers' defense against the Los Angeles Rams' offense this week, um, it was just a good matchup. I'm not a huge fan of Stafford. I think that he loses the Rams a lot of games. Um, they have a lot of offensive talent on the Rams. Uh, I think Stafford is a reason why they lost that game. Um, so that's why I picked the Steelers. Fair. All right. Appreciate of it. Of all the solos, which mm -hmm. one was your favorite and why? My favorite, my favorite was the Steelers. My favorite was the Steelers because... Out of both the solo picks, I felt much more confident in the Falcons than the Steelers mm. going into the game. Although I thought the Steelers were going to win. They have Puka Nakua. They have uh, Tutu Atwell. They have mm -hmm. Cuff now. They have so many offensive weapons that even though a really good Steelers defense exists, I'm, I, I, I could see them getting overwhelmed and then falling behind early. And then that offense that hasn't really been producing would, would not be able to catch up in the game. Um, mm. So seeing the Steelers win was a really nice surprise. And I think that, that, that not touchdown, but... P.J. Well almost had a, a touchdown with an interception late yeah. in the game. They set him up for a touchdown, which really closed the closed the game for the Steelers. Um, so again, without that defensive play, the Steelers probably don't win that game. Um, so I, I would definitely say the Steelers. I was really surprised that I got Falcons as a solo pick this, this past week. So mm -hmm. wasn't too surprised when they won. Mm -hmm. All right. Nice. Um, real respect, real Charlie. We both had the Bears this week. That was a big point for us. It was. Um, Good point, also, kids. That was. Jesus Christ. We also saw the same thing in the uh, the Chiefs-Chargers game. It didn't really work for us this week. Yeah. I, it turns out they're playing each other. It's a big it's a big Sunday nighter. So you don't have to give your like full take who you think is going to win or lose, but how do you feel those two teams playing each other, you know? I think it's going to be a good game. 
Um, but I can't really comment on it any more than that because I don't want to give away. Me and Ben, we're trying to idea. extract info here. Ooh, okay. Next question. Next question. All right, Maddie. Charlie, I feel like a lot of the times I get asked the Patriots questions, but I just want to ask you also as a Patriots fan, how do you feel about the Patriots at this exact moment? Yeah, um, I, I really think it's like a week to week thing at this point, right? I think before the Bills game, I was on the train of like, get rid of Mac, he sucks, like tank, tank and, and get a better quarterback this year. Um, but at heart, I'm a, I'm a football fan, I'm a Patriot fan. And every single week I watch them, I want to see them win. And if they're going to play like that and they're going to have a solid game, I want to see Matt continue to go. Like, I, I don't want him to fail. If he's going to succeed, I'm not I'm not the person that's like yelling at the TV, stop, stop winning. I don't want to see you win. Um, so right now, coming off of a win, I'm, I'm high on the Patriots. We'll see what I do this week with my pick for the Patriots. You sound um, like a Daniel I'm, Jones I'm, fan. <laughs> I, I'm in a different mindset this week after the win. Um, the offensive line, I don't think a lot of people are talking about how great they were. That was a really big part of the win. They kind of came out of nowhere and decided to put a game together. Um, and we kind of saw what Matt could do with a little bit of protection and a little bit of confidence. And two good um, tight really. ends. And two good tight ends. Yeah, that's a, another big thing. So um, I think it was also very telling that Parker was not really involved in the offense uh, this past week. And, and their offense looks pretty good. Um, so, so overall, I'm feeling good about the Patriots going into this next week. Do I think they're going to make the playoffs? No. Do I think that they're a contending team? No. Um, but it's fun to know that I can watch the Patriots on a weekly basis and maybe expect them to win every game that they're in. The end of that, I love. That's so true. I agree with that completely. All right. Your boy fell to fourth. Oof. Welcome back. Thanks for coming in. Tough spot. Um, yeah, I'll start the questions. And, you know, as the host, you would be expected, you know, to be, you know, to be one, two, maybe three, but at four, it is, it's a look. Um, I think really my question is what decisions have brought you to fourth that you might be able to, uh, you know, what are you going to do to pivot out of this position instead of continuing your decline? You know, it's, Ben's not far behind you at all. It's a week. It's a it's a week to week process, and we're just gonna stick with the process on this one. Yeah. So you, to just so everyone can understand correctly, you're not gonna change anything. It's a week to week process, and we're just we're gonna stick with what we're going. We're you know. All right. Okay. Are you gonna processfully choose the Browns <laughs> this week? Uh, you, the Browns have now I think burned me two weeks in a row. They're the um, best team in. Now I will I will say the Colts got screwed in that game and the refs are crap and the Browns defense let the Colts score 39 points on them so I don't really know how a Browns fan's feeling good about himself beating the Colts 39 to 38 with two refs helping them when the zebras are on your side yeah so maybe I'll pick the Browns we'll see Ben good question keep it up kid Billy, Billy. I can't wait to He's... talk more about this. I, I, my, 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 my question is just the slightest two part. Who's so, the better, the Eagles or the 49ers? Eagles, right now. And do they go to the Super Bowl and lose against the Chiefs still? Uh, the Chiefs are Chiefs are a tough bucket. I will say I can't believe people took the Chargers over the Chiefs. That was a wild pick. The Chiefs literally are getting better every single week. It's it, it's so similar to the Patriots back in the dynasty. Start off slow, get better and better and better. Um, I it would not shock me if Eagles Ravens was the Super Bowl. But I, the Ravens we can't get too high on them. But I really 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 am impressed with the Ravens. I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna pivot a little bit. The Buffalo Bills are as easy to blame as the Patriots are easy to congratulate for the, that game. Like, the Bills did a lot of things when I watched the highlights because I had to see it. Like, blocking, for example. The Patriots blocking and the physicality of the Bills' defense was horrible. But when you watch the Ravens-Lions game, the Ravens literally just took the Lions to pound town and then kicked them out and said, you're done. And just destroyed them. So Ravens look good. Ravens Eagles Super Bowl would be the most hype. But Eagles are better than the Niners. Um, so uh, Brock Purdy is, uh, of course, once I concede Brock Purdy, he flips on Dutch. me here. So, yeah. I think just Charlie's left. 
Yeah, yeah, I can go. Um, did John ask a question? Yeah, I did the first one about his what he's oh, gonna sure. change, and he said change nothing. So Stick Ben's the, gonna be in fourth next week. Stick All with right. the process. Um, so Billy, I see a, a banner on your wall, and I'm noticing that your shirt is uh is the giant. I was so. waiting for this one. I was like, I, I was hoping to get out of here. Tra tra trade it back. Did a, did a trade happen this week? That we no. So about? actually, what happened was Buffalo released me because they've lost two games now. Well, they haven't lost. They've lost two of their last three. And they released me. They said, we've had enough of this shit. And then the Giants picked me up off waivers. Um, they didn't have to drop anyone. Zero fab. <laughs> yeah, zero fab. Right. But but the interesting thing, we were at dinner driving home Sunday night. I told John and Matt this. I think Karma hasn't realized I'm a Giants fan. <laughs> so she's when she goes through her book, she's going to be like, Jesus, he already switched back to the Giants. So mark my words, the Bills are going to start playing amazingly. And the Giants are going to go down to shitter. So Billy, I, I have one more follow-up. One more quickly follow-up question. If the Giants and Bills start doing crappy, what team are you going to be traded to next? I won't. I'll stick with the Giants. I go go into the game and them getting the win. As John would tell you, it's all about coach. Coach played great. All I did, all I did, I was like, we're in the nosebleeds, and every time the Giants start doing something, I'll move it's the coach. mic away. Be like, Let's go, coach! Just be yeah, clapping really loud. for coach. I lost my for voice coach. so bad. It's like, let's Best go, coach! So, yeah, I'll stick. With, I'll stick with the Giants. This flag will get me through it. So, all right. One more follow up. Go ahead. Uh, the Vikings won. Crazy. So, and you're a huge 49ers supporter. Um, do you think it was the the tenacious Browns D the week before that threw the 49ers into ruin? And are they gonna lose again? So, or was it um, Justin Jefferson on the sideline helping the Vikings? What do you think? No, I What's think I think the Browns created a blueprint to ruffle um, Brock Purdy. I, I'm not going to deny that. And I think, um, I think the Vikings are very similar to the Giants. I think the Vikings and Giants are much better than their record shows. And I think you'll see that they'll win games that are close. So, for example, like, I will 1 million percent pick the Giants to beat the Jets this week. Like, they're going to beat them by two scores. Mm. Like, mm. If, if you think Zach Wilson against the defense I've watched the last three weeks, the defense that only let Josh Allen score nine points. So, yeah. But Browns, Browns did a good job. Vikings did a good job. Um, 49ers have injuries. I think they'll be good, but we'll see. Cool. And then in last... But certainly not least, and making slow progress, Ben. Who has questions for Ben here? Uh, I'll I start. For ben. Okay, oh, John, you can start yeah, John gets to go first this time. Um, so the Ravens lines was a heavily talked about one, but the other one was that Dolphins Eagles game, and I said mm -hmm. I would switch with you, but clearly didn't put my money where my mouth was mm -hmm. and stayed with the Eagles. Uh, Billy and I listened to that whole game very closely and don't let the score tell stories that aren't true. That game was pretty much 17-17 until the fourth, very close. And every team, both teams would answer when the other would score pretty frequently. And the Dolphins had, I think, 12 penalties. They had 10 at the half. And a few of those were pretty interesting penalties. So I think my question though is going forward, what is your faith in both the Dolphins and your faith in me telling you, Ben, that's a really good solo? Um, if it makes you feel any better, and I don't know if you feel bad at all, um, what you say just goes in <laughs> one and not the other, okay? I'm just gonna stick to my gut. Uh, kind of like Billy here, I'm gonna stick with my my game plan. I will. I will let oh, you guys know. Nice. So Billy, you you'll get to hold fourth then. No, no. See what's <laughs> happening. Do you guys forget that I lost like nine points first round because I followed all Charlie's picks? You guys <laughs> me. So I'm still like I'm crawling back out of a huge freaking hole right now. Um, I'm doing pretty amazing. I'm seven behind Matt, which that might it's not bad. Weeks. We had a bigger um, John, gap last like, year. Yeah, John, you're within spitting distance, and Charlie and Billy, they're just, I mean, their football IQ is like about as much as this lamp that's next to me right now. So I'm really not too worried about the end of the season, end of the podcast. Um, I forget the other question, but yeah. Your faith next. in the Dolphins. 
Next question, please. Ben, what what's the biggest lesson you learned from last week? Mm. Um, here's one. My dad texted me after the Browns won, and he said, because I was taking a nap. I had to. I was really tired of the Browns watching the Browns. But anyway, he said, Ben, that was the ugliest win I've ever seen, you know? And 26 years being alive, and we've only had, like, ugly losses. So ugly wins. Certainly, certainly it's a, it's the next step. Let's I'm go. fine if we have more of those. Next question. Like it. <laughs> yeah, Ben. Um, you picked the Bears for four weeks in a row now, and it might be even more than that. I just I can't stand any more than than um, week four. Bears. Um, I'll track. When they start playing like real teams, like for example the Chargers this week, are you still gonna ride with the Bears? Um, are you just picking them every single week, or um, are you gonna go with with the better team in a situation like like that? The Bears have just been a better team in these last few weeks, so I'll probably see um, how things are looking. I was trying to get a read on you, and I think I'll just give it the same back. Um, but I'd love for just Matt to ask his question, if you guys don't mind. <laughs> go yeah, ahead, Matt. I just wanted to ask, do you, do you enjoy coming here every week? <laughs> the podcast. <laughs> yeah, do you enjoy coming here every week? Because I'm losing, or because you guys are not. There's, there's no me. reason. There doesn't have to be a reason. I'm just asking a question. We had a meeting about your shit attitude. <laughs> what? You don't. You don't have to be here. No. <laughs> What's that from, Matthew? <laughs> what? Actually, I have just no say... idea if I'm quoting something. I was just thinking of questions, and I was like, "It's really funny." That okay. Just... John and I were talking about it last year, and I'll tell you the truth. John and I were talking about it last year. We were watching um, Joe Burrow play. And as you can tell by John's jersey, he loves the guy. We are kind of talking about it because you watch the NFL and some people, some people love the game of football. And they're amazing at it. Like, they show up, you see him, you're like, holy shit, like, this guy, this kid was born to play and he's playing. Other people don't give a fuck. They just make their money, but they're incredible athletes. And they show up and they put a great show on. I'm kind of like that. Like, I'm built to be here. It doesn't really matter whether I want to be or not. Like, I'm here, and I'm, I'm here to stay, so. I like it. I like it. Let's I, go. Wait, which one are you, the former or the latter? He, he, does, he, he doesn't yeah. like being here, but he's just so good at it. Oh, the, the former. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. All right. That wasn't. <laughs> what, a, what, a, what a media session. That's the longest we've ever run, 20, 27 minutes, but that's all right here. Um. So obviously, just a couple notes of the full week here. Huge upsets, huh? Like there was a ton of Bro, like games where we all like it, it, it was crazy. Like if we just go backwards, we all picked the Niners. I know Ben picked the um. I, I know I know Char uh, yeah Ben picked the Ravens, but we all thought the Lions were gonna win that game. I mean the Lions coming in the look, Bears, the Bills, the I mean the Patriots the, the probably have. Yeah, the Rams. The yeah. Rams. So, you so many. The Packers. So, so, the Falcons. Yeah. So, like, you can say so many. So, with that, I would that out. when we look at this, like, Charlie did get the most games right, but it was only eight. And so, the, the note I had was, like, we're going to have a ton of solo picks and a ton of split picks this week. I think week eight mm. is going to be a pivotal week going into mm. it. Mm. So, with that, are we ready to start <laughs> picking some teams here, boys? Mm. All right. Dun, da, 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 da. Dun, da, 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 da. First place, sixty-four percent of the time he gets it right. Sixty-four percent of the time Matthew calls the game right. Thursday night tomorrow, Matt Buffalo, Tampa's coming into Buffalo. Who you picking here? Both coming off losses. Bills. Give me them Bills. Johnny, who you like? Yeah, gotta be, gotta be the Billows. The below. Charlie. It's gonna be a massacre, Bills. Yeah, yeah, I got, I gotta go Buffalo here. I yeah, think I'm gonna this over for someone else. So I'm gonna say Buffalo losing to New England was bad, but Buccaneers losing to the Falcons is a real indictment on the Buccaneers going forward. Don't uh, the Falcons hate. I I, I agree. Uh, Ritter is trash. I I just don't care. I've seen Ritter do two I, I that's why I don't pick him. Uh, ben, Dallas Cowboys, Holy Los crap. Angeles Rams. Holy crap. See, that's what I hate being last is when the first pick is like such an obvious one across the board, and then you really oh, it start sucks! Off it sucks! You know? It sucks! 
The Rams and Cowboys. Oh gosh. Give me the Rams. <laughs> John's face. <laughs> so I've gone back and watched some of these podcasts. John's face. When we pick teams, John doesn't think are right. John does this. John will sit. And he's always really close to the camera. He does like a little smirk. I was just waiting for Ben to pick the Rams and see John smirk. Uh, it's no it's, way the Rams are going to win this it's game. It's the Cowboys. I hate them, but it's the Cowboys. Charlie, who you got? They might. Yeah. The Bears won. Yeah, true. Ben's over yeah, here. Did you um? Did you see the Rams play against the Steelers defense? It was horrible. We're talking about the Cowboys defense now. And you think that the Rams are going to hey, win. Hey, Ben gets well, two. Well, they lost to the Steelers because they're game planning the Cowboys. Yeah, they're just yeah. Fair enough, Charlie. Hey, who who you got? I got the Cowboys. John. Cowboys. Cowboys. Maddie. Yeah, I'm going Cowboys, and I was actually I thought for a second that so I was like I might get this as a solo pick. I'm Boom. Not really sure. No. I mean, I, I, I you guys all said that the Giants were going to be the Cowboys week one. I was like, I don't know how high up they're on the Cowboys yet. They lost to the Cardinals. Um, but no, hey, I, man, the fucking. Use my language. There were so many upsets last week. There's no way that the Rams have a zero percent chance. They could easily win. There was yeah, literally true. seven upsets last week. No, no, no. So true. I think the Rams could also yeah win this. That's why I thought you guys were gonna say it. It could be a close no. game. I think Cowboys got it though. Packers um, Vikings. I'm going Vikings. This is hard. This is a tough yeah, one. I'm... Matt's taking Vikings after a big win. Kevin O'Connell. Jordan? Addison might be the best wide receiver rookie next to Zay Flowers. Both of them are so great. Here's, so here's what's funny. Points. Wasn't the best wide receiver rookie rookie to ever play in the whole world, Justin Jefferson, a couple years ago? Is it Kirk Cousins who makes them look good? John, the what, John it, was it, it Stephon Diggs? Who makes them, is Tutu yeah, and Puka, yeah, are they yeah, actually Billy's good? Right. Yeah, John missed right. it. Is, yeah, yeah. Well, it's Stephon, Stephon Diggs. Diggs. The Vikings drafted Jefferson? Stephon Diggs and then drafted Justin Jefferson and then traded yeah. him. So get ready, Jefferson trade. Kirk, very well. Yeah, I, 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 this is the whole thing: is Kirk a top ten quarterback? He is what? right now. He is Holy right now. Moly. He is right Randy now. Moss. Randy Moss. This Vikings system just might be for wide receivers. Um, but yeah, I'm saying Vikings. This is so tough. Kirk is a top ten right now. But I'll go Vikings too, I guess. But I don't love it. Charlie. I don't think it's that tough. I'm gonna go Vikings. I don't think the Packers are a very good team. I kind of agree. I think I'm taking the Vikings here too. Ben? There's way to be ballsy, Billy. I'm going Vikings. <laughs> There's way to be ballsy, Billy. <laughs> That's good. Ben. Oh. <laughs> here we go. The matchup of a lifetime. <laughs> we have Will Levis, Mayonnaise Banana Boy, against Desmond Ritter, the Interception King. Who you got, Ben? This is not hard. I watched a lot of Bijan highlights from college. Over well, you, he might. He hey, like, he might come with a headache. He might not get the ball. He's a concussion. No, remember they benched. No, no, no. They he's, just benched him just last week because he had a sore good. throat. Yeah, he needed a sippy cup. Oh really? Yeah. Who you got? Oh, More he, of a mental. He can do whatever he wants. I think I'm going. Don't do it. Fun. Fun. I think I'm oh, gonna okay. take. I think I'm gonna take Tennessee here. I think King Henry. Wow. I'm gonna take variable. Falcons hate I think I gotta continues. Go my boys. Yeah, Falcons I think hate I gotta continues. Go my boys and um, go to Falcons still. Wow, 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 wow. See, here's the sitch, boys. Here's the sitch. King Henry's looking to looking to get traded, and like all those oh. goddamn Denver Broncos players <laughs> last week who played their minds <laughs> off looking for a trade. So they won I'm by two. Titans. They won by I'm two. Going, Billy, Billy. <laughs> For Denver to even say they won a game is yeah. like some <laughs> mystic magic. It, the, they played their fucking minds off. And I think Derrick Henry's about to do the same because he's trying to get over to a good team. All right, Matt, who uh, you got? I'm, I'm going Falcons. Here we go, Falcons. John. You and me ride or die I with the I want to say Titans. Ride Falcons. or die with the king. Another tough one. Colts Saints. No, it's not Colts. <laughs> <sighs> This one is so hard. John, who are you taking? Here, here's why it's hard. You know why this is hard? Um, I want... Yeah, the Colts. Uh, Charlie? The Colts. 
Derek Carr just can't play football, man. He's, <laughs> no, he's so done. bad. It's so the annoying Raiders, to watch him play. The Raiders were carrying him. I'm smelling a comeback. I'm smelling a comeback week for Derek this week against the Colts. Chris, Chris Olave. Really PJ sure Walker got 38. I think Chris Olave was arrested, but I think he's going to play Sunday. <laughs> he, yeah, he was. Oh, Michael Thomas, shit. Though. You're right. Yeah. Chris Olave was going 70 and a 30. No, 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 Billy. I don't, that's, I don't think it's going to make a difference. I think he, I was listening to him. He was only in jail for like one night. I think he's back. Yeah. That doesn't affect him in the NFL. You can change if you'd like, but don't. I, I, I have a Olave change thing. I get. All right, Ben, who you got? Okay. Nice, nice solo, Billy. Good uh, solo. <laughs> that's one you can be proud of going into next week. Boom. Um, Dolphins, Patriots, Ben. Um, oh wow. Oh wow. The Patriots are looking good. Um, I'll ride with the Patriots if you guys are. You can't, t don't tell them anything, boys. <laughs> Big Ben picked Charlie, this. Give me a thumbs up for Patriots. Right, give, me a little, give me a little wink. All right, Ben, make your pick. Um, okay. All right, I'm going Dolphins. Yeah. I'm going to go Finns here. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, wait, it's not my turn. Sorry. Charlie? There he is. Charlie's Whoa, doing it. Riding with Mac. Yeah, I like it. Let's go. Charlie has that love that you need. I love it. I love I it. Love the Dolphins. John wants fins. Matt, who you want? I literally am so tempted to say New England. Yeah, Tua but Matt's has in never first. lost against Bill Belichick. Tua has always beat Bill Belichick. Give me the Dolphins, Charlie. If you wow, this, Charlie takes the solo. If you yeah, get this yeah. solo, if they win, I'm gonna drive yeah. to your house. Personally, give you a kiss or something. I, you need something. Battle the defense. Will win. The Patriots will win. <laughs> and I get a kiss from Matt. That's amazing. <laughs> wow. That's a double win. Battle the defenses. Jets, Giants. Matt, who you got? I thought about this so much today, and one of the reasons I was in last last year was I was not on the Giants until later in the season, and that kind of burned me a lot of games. So I'm saying Giants. John. Yep, I'm riding Giants, baby. Big blue. Woo! Charlie, who you got? Boys, Zach Wilson's not looking too bad anymore, and that Jets He's defense not. is insane. I'm going to have to go Jets. Yeah, the problem is you forgot about Coach. <laughs> <laughs> Go coach. No, you, under go coach. you understand. I love Brian Dable so much. I fucking love that little meatball. God bless him. Let's go. Let's go, coach. Let's go, coach. This, this, this is the thing. This, 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 this is the thing. This is the thing. Is Belichick. Belichick. You can't like him. Brian Dable. You just want to hug him, and he gets angrier yeah. at the refs than you do. Let's go, coach. Kiss him right on his head. Let's go, coach. Get that little bald head shined up. Get out there and take Robert Sala to town. Take him to Pound Town. Ben, who you got? Pound Town. Let's take him to Pound Town, boys. Team coach. Team coach. Team. Who you got, Ben? Go Giants. Giants. Yeah, let's go. Boys. Let's go, coach. Dude, let's go. I love that solo pick. I Dude, you're gonna hate it. You sound like the Jets when they drafted Zach Wilson number two overall. We love this. Yeah, get ready. Coach is working on him. Let's go, Coach. coach. All right, Ben, who do you like? <laughs> go, Coach. There's only three teams I ride with all season. It's the Browns, it's the Bears, and it's the Jaguars. Dude, Jaguars, Jaguars, AFC Championship. Ugh. The three best teams in the AFC are the Jaguars, the Ravens, and the Chiefs. I'm going to go Jags here, but I do like the Steelers to like on the upset. Charlie, but... I don't agree with that either. But I, Who's it? Wait, what team, what team? I meant to say Ben. I saw Ben's face go. Because he didn't say the Brownies. <laughs> yeah. Charlie, yeah. who you got? Um, the Steelers. No! Oh! Wow. Oh, Charlie. Charlie's, Charlie's got to hedge his... Another, like, total upset week. Charlie's trying to hedge his bets. You, you yeah, want to get I as many the solos. Shaggy Waggies. Give me the Jaguars. Prince Charming. Matthew? Prince Charming. Charlie, you... I am going to... I can't even imagine what this week's going to be. Like, you have three solo picks in a row, bro. And then take going to last or first? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. One you're, white ticket. Wow, this is gonna be an insane week. No, what what's gonna happen though is they're gonna like offset. You'll probably be right in third again. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> All right. Well, no, or second or first, or second or fourth. I mean it. Last All time right. these two Before... teams met, 
Oh, sorry. I, I'm being I'm being very kind here. This is a divisional match that the Commanders played well in the first time. They did the first yeah, time. They beat they them. Beat this them. was the first loss last year. They luckily the Eagles were able to beat them this year. Their first game. This is their second game now. The Commanders might get this, even though they're not that good. The Commanders might get this because it's a divisional game. But of course, I'm flying with my birds. John, got the Eagles. Charlie. You're oh my god! You're doing it. Listen, listen, listen. They lost by three the... points in a few a couple weeks ago to the Eagles. Charlie, they have what it takes to beat them. Charlie, you did you watch Coach last week? It's Eagles. That's my villain. Ben, give Charlie another one. <laughs> another one. Wow! Charlie, crazy, wow. crazy this Four. This is wild. Charlie, at some point, stop trying to impress and start trying to get some points this week. All right, big guy. All right, Ben, who do you like here? Houston. Oh, the battle. CJ Stroud versus Bryce Young, yeah. number one, number two. Who do you like here? Ooh, easy, Ohio State. Let's go Texans. Yeah, I like I like the Texans better as a team. Charlie? Charlie, you can go. Yeah, Texans. Yeah, dude. Uh, no, this I was going to say this bad. one. I can't Ludicrous. Texans. <laughs> Maddie, <laughs> I'm saying Texans, but I do not Chris. think the Carolina Panthers are going to lose every game this season, and we're going to have to say their names one time this week. Yeah, this and who's going to get it right? It could be this I week. Don't, yeah, I don't know if it's this one, though. Oh, fuck. Maddie. Um, give, give me Gino. Ben, this is a battle of the eyes no, versus your team. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> Brownies. John likes those Browns. I've been riding with the Browns, dude. They've been doing me yeah. good. Charlie? We're, we're, we're four and two. No, we're, going, we're, we're going Browns here. Whoa. Yes. Matthew, I'm not going to let you get this one by yourself, big guy. <laughs> oh, Billy. Yeah, I figured. I figured. <laughs> Billy, you can't be making mistakes like this in last, buddy. I'll teach you some things. Give me the give me the brown boys. <laughs> I do like Miles that. Goddamn Garrett. Four of the five of us here, we're fans of shit teams, but we give each other a hard time when we don't pick them. I know. Like like Ben. You didn't pick like, the Patriots, you stupid, stupid idiot. You didn't pick Coach. All right, are we all just taking the Chiefs here? Or are we calling an upset? This one we can go. Yeah, Chiefs. 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 Yeah, Chiefs. 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 <laughs> all right, here we go. Cardinals, Ravens. Oh, we're all taking Ravens here. Right? I, I think you could do the same thing. Yeah. yeah. Is, are is anyone? No. Mm -mm. I hate uh, how like we're all picking the same teams. It starts to get like that. Oh, here and we go. Man, yeah. Here we go. Brock Purdy is in the concussion protocol. Sam Darnold, number two pick from 2018, most likely starting in this game. Ben, who you like? Ew. Wait, Purdy's in concussion protocol. He, yeah, he is. Oh boy! All right, let's ride. Let's ride. Oh wow! Oh <laughs> wow! Face. What's up with McCaffrey? McCaffrey looked good, man. 49ers Yeah, Vikings shut him down for most of the game, but he still had two TDs and kicked my ass in a fantasy game. So. Uh yeah. Okay. Me give me the give me the Niners. <sighs> this one is so tough for me. Yeah. I think I'm going to go Niners for the sole reason of I think Sam Darnold might be better than Purdy. Yeah. Charlie? Bengals coming off a bye, man. Joe Burrow, cool Burrow. He was looking good before he went on the bye. I think they're going to come I think they're going to come out of the bye week strong and uh yeah. and San Francisco their third straight loss. Yeah, I'm with Charlie. Give me the Bengals. Maddie. Something I think about a lot, a lot in this podcast is um, I, there are good teams who I just don't think can win three games straight. I just I, I don't think the Niners could win three. You games. mean lose? Could, you mean lose? Lose? Yeah, could lose three games straight in a row. You know what I mean? Like that's really difficult. But oh no! Oh my God! I'm saying the Bengals. Oh wow, <laughs> Benny! You and me, that could be a big point for us, kid. That's good. I'll take that. All right, Matthew, Bears, Chargers. Chargers. Johnny? Wow. Chargers. Charlie? Chargers. You wanted that Bears pick, but you know Ben's going to take it. Ben? Bro, what's up with my boy? What's up with my boy? Is he playing or is he playing or what? Is he hurt again? <laughs> Dude, yes. you might want the you might, you might want the the substitute teacher playing. He looked better. He did. Yeah. He looked good. <laughs> I'm yeah, I'm riding with the boys. And then finally, Ben, to close us out, <laughs> Lions, Vegas. 
Vegas mm. comes in like with two broken legs, and the Lions just got smacked a few times. They're like, "Come here." I'll take the yeah, Lions for sure. Is anyone not taking the Lions? Yeah, I'm not taking Lions. All yeah. right. Wow, we we ran through those picks pretty quick, actually, for us. So as it works, Matt, you are locked in here. You are Krispy Kreme, no caffeine. John, Charlie, and myself, we each have one change. Ben, you can do up to two. Mm. Mm. I'm going to go through it week by week. Once I'm passed, I'm passed. Bucks going into Buffalo. Anyone anyone riding with Baker? Going to get Ben the solo pick for the Rams. Stafford comes in and takes Micah Parsons for a ride. Oh. Ben, you want to get off this one? No, but I'm just going to lose. I'll be fine. I'll ride with him. I'll ride with him. Yeah. <laughs> If, let me tell you, if the Rams do win, I'll be so happy because you'll be the only one who gets points and the <laughs> Cowboys fans will lose their mind. <laughs> like, they will yeah. they will implode. Uh, anyone here want to ride with the Pack? Anyone want to take Pack, Ooh, pack Solo pick? Solo? Against Vike? I'll go Pack Solo. Nice, John. John's going to take this one. So John's yeah. going to John's gonna pound this one in for an orange, orange text, but he's also going to make it a pound solo pick. It's two pounds. Wow. John's out now. Falcons, Titans. Oof. Can I ride, ride with Coach? I could, I could log off this one here and then give it to just John. Do it. But I don't think Do I'm – I, I, Vrabel's the closest thing to Coach I've seen. I'm going to ride with Vrabes. Yeah, me too. Wait. Hold on. Bummer. Ben, you making this change here? You going tense? Good about the Titans. I like the Titans this week. Ben's making a change wow. here. Ben makes his Matt change. And Charlie are celebrating. I love it. Got my solo pick here with the Saints. I think I'm gonna ride with Indy. I'm gonna I'm gonna log off this one here. And it's a good call. I like the rationale is if those freaking Colts can score that much on a Browns defense, they're gonna annihilate this and can car keep up. That's what to me what it comes down to. Charlie, you gonna ride with the ride with New England? Yes, sir. All right. Um, I think Charlie's the only one. Charlie and Ben. Charlie, you gonna take this solo on the Jets? I'm telling you, buddy. Zach Wilson's not the guy you want to ride with here. I'm, I'm trying to help you one time. I know. I'll send you a picture of Coach. <laughs> the Giants are still a horrific team. Yeah. Yeah, they're all, the they're just better than the Patriots, but we'll figure that out in a few weeks. Um. Steelers versus Jacksonville. Charlie. I love it. Jesus. The resolve. Commanders. Eagles. Oh. Give me that shit. I'm keeping it. All right. We're all riding with Houston here. Ben and Charlie, any change? Yep. You want to change this one? Give me the Panthers, baby. Wow. Here we go. Charlie goes for his fifth. Did, 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 did what I say get to you? They're going to win one of these weeks. There's no way they're they going to win every they game. Win they can't. And Number listen, one guys, pick. I'm not, getting, I'm not getting five solo picks wrong, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to land on a couple of these. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, exactly. At some point, going scorched earth just makes more sense. Especially middle of the pack. Like, just go scorched earth. Just see what you can do. All right. We ride in, in first place next week. We ride in with... Seahawks, Browns, everyone good here? Oof. Just Ben. Only Every Ben left. Oh, yeah, only Ben. I may, I may let you burn uh, choosing the 49ers. You want to go Let's Bengals? Go you want to take Bengals? Oh, man, I'll take that solo pick. Holy man, no, fuck. Damn. I told I Billy, I, told Billy I thought I'd have a solo pick on the No, no, Bengals. I think everyone's going to pick the Bengals. I'm glad now. You know how bad teams are coming off a of bye week? Just just as a reference. Um, so, you know. the, But the Bengals are desperate. Billy, can I get a highlight on my Bears, my Bear boys? Yeah, wait. So Ben switched to the Bengals here, so he's getting a little light there. And then Bears will get a check cell with orange text for fun. Wait. What? Oh, oh, it's a solo pick. My bad. Sorry. Concrete. <laughs> we'll <know>. concrete it. <laughs> okay, <I'll take> it. <laughs> and with that, 
Week eight is in the books now. Do we have any final thoughts here? We have a few minutes. Any closing thoughts? Are the yeah, only let's go pack Patriots. Let's go Patriots, man. Like I don't, I don't, I didn't say them because I don't think they're gonna win. But man, if they win, I'm gonna be so happy. Let me tell you, the Giants and the pa- the Giants and the Patriots. This is the most important week. If you can get to three and five, if you can get wins here, and if you don't get wins here, it's time to start thinking about that trade deadline on Tuesday. So. Yeah, big wins. Um, has anyone noticed the defenses are, like, driving games this year more than, I think, in the past few Look years? Look at the Browns. Yeah, Ooh. Browns are actually a great example. They lose their $230 million quarterback, and they're still beating teams all around Miles the league. Miles Garrett, dude. They're more, it's like it's more valuable. It's like the league has reverted back. He'd yeah. be a cool even, even, Miles Garrett. even the Ravens, I think Lamar Jackson's playing amazing football, maybe even the best of his career, because he's not trying to get hurt every play, I feel like. But in that defense... defense his defense is so real it, yeah it's, it's yeah yeah that was that was the only thing i noticed i think a lot of the games last week were defensively driven i mean the giants game john will tell you that was all it was that whole game was giant was just defense. it was very exciting though yeah but yeah it was all defense all right everyone well don't look so glum on here it's gonna be a fun fun final stretch are we halfway through uh week eight and then we go up to Almost. week 17 yeah a little bit oh week 18 so no next week will be the halfway Ooh. point wow wait dang no. slow down i nothing's worse than when football season ends and you just you're sitting there on a thursday night like what do i do with oh this? it's hard should we do like a playoffs but when you lose your pick you're actually just out you're done. yeah we'll do something for the playoffs we'll definitely like do something it. like that where it's like a playoffs <laughs> playoffs yeah like a That'd playoffs cool. playoffs all right, everyone. And on that note, like, subscribe. Ben, do you have something you want to say? Oh, no. It was just kind of cool. Like, uh, I'd play Matt first round of the playoffs, and whoever gets the most picks right moves on. Yeah, something someone, like that. If or someone wants yeah. to make the Excel sheet, be my guest. I'll do it. But playoffs, playoffs. But I do Google Sheets. That's fine. fine. I like it. And on that note, oh. thank you all for listening. Be sure to catch us on the next one next week. Peace.